So today we are going to be making a little wig, a pixie wig to be exact, okay? So my client, she doesn't put any glue on her hair or anything like that. She just makes these wigs, my honeys. And what I mean to tell you, oh my God. Now I will make another video and go into more detail about the wig because in my mind I feel like I'm about to start doing this because it's so convenient. The only reason I walk around nappy head without my hair done <laughs> It's because it's like, oh, I got to take time out and go throw a wig on. Oh, I'd rather not. So, but to be more convenient, my honey, these come in handy. Just to have a few of these laying around. And it's like, oh, my God, I got something to do real quick. Other than the headband wig. Okay, you can just throw these on. So, I won't actually show you how she took it off and everything. But, um, like I said, we can get into that on another video. But today, okay, we're just doing a pixie. Um, you already know at this point, we have done this style before on my channel. And she so happened to have came across it as that, that's what I want. I want that. <laughs> so the only difference was we didn't um, gel the size. Now I didn't have any gel to gel it. So it's a wig. She can always come back and get that done. But I still like the outcome. And then you're going to see a lot of KJ because these days he be all in the clients faces and they cannot resist him so they will be sitting there cuddling and all type of stuff before the video is over with my honey so we're just gonna glue tracks and you know like I say you glue that track it does not glue you so we're just trying to cover up that cap cover up every little piece that we can to make this a seamless type of wig so when she takes it off and put it back on there's no mess ups no anything so i am doubling my tracks i'm putting two at a time down i'm putting them close but when you doubling your tracks you don't have to put them as close so i uh cut as i go so i put the glue along the whole thing okay if you don't have long arms you do not have to do that you could just measure it on the head cut it then glue it but I just be trying to get it done so I just glue as I go and then I cut once I get to my desired length that I'm where I'm trying to place that track and then I use that the rest of that track for another area okay so I don't care how small it is I'm going to use it for whatever gap I could fill in okay so we don't waste hair but um, that's the Tara hair in the box okay you know this is the same hair I use my honeys when I dyed it pink okay so we have a video coming up that I have the same hair and I'm going to dye it gray okay with a front toe install so that is our next video just a heads up but um she got a couple of tracks for the top to kind of uh, make the bang more um, long and I didn't bust down her curls once we were done because I really wanted her to be able to have a flexible wig she can do that when she's ready she literally took it right off and went home so it wasn't like she was wearing it in that style anyway so once she's ready to play with it and poof it out she can do that at any time this thing would probably last for a long time especially for her because she has so many so she doesn't really count on just the one she just wants them on deck okay if you know what I mean <laughs> and she says she takes them off and just put them on the wig head so she probably has plenty and now I'm honored to be making her one at this point so just stay tuned my honeys and um Leave me a comment, let me know if you like this style, even though you have seen it before when I did it on me. But I'm trying to give you guys everything you asked for, so I will be trying to record more of me doing my clients, of me doing myself, my daughter, all of that. So, you guys will not be skipping any type of beats when it comes to Kales, because I'm about to make sure we get on it. And look at KJ, here he come. Here he come. <laughs> they had a really good relationship.
and my honey the Tara hair that comes in the purple box it has two lengths so the box that I showed earlier is the short length okay and um, there's a bigger box that's the longer length so if you notice the length of this hair up here that I'm putting in right now is about the same length as the other box for the longest piece both boxes only come with three sections so you got short then you got medium then you got long so the bigger box has short medium long but it's longer than the box that we're using but um, we just got some pieces from um, some hair that she had which was longer and therefore we used it as the longer pieces but for this style I would just recommend this, the short box or whatever because you know um, if you go long that's just more cutting to do and then also it costs more money so if you can make it work being cheaper because it's cheaper to keep her then okay we're gonna make that happen so I'm gonna go ahead and use my razor um, comb and just get all this out the way I used to use the clippers my honeys I used to go right in with them clippers and then like um, you have to learn that method because you make one mistake it's like eh. You got all track, okay? You may not even be able to cover them tracks up after you skint it. So, it's just safer to use this comb, especially if you're a beginner. But, um, it's quicker for me, too. The clippers is good as well. I use my comb and whatever I didn't hit, I go back in with my clipper still and um, clean it up and all of that. But, this comb is, is, is pretty decent for this style. It's nothing but, I call it a wrap around, okay? We just literally wrapped all them tracks <laughs> And one womp uh, from smallest to biggest and now we just gonna design it you don't have to go in and curl it you don't have to do any of that with this here that's what I like about it you literally could style it like this and make it your own and probably just you know kind of pump the top up and leave that back flat because in a minute I'm gonna show you how if you swoop that um, back to the left or the right it looks so good and like it was a uh, bumped or something so I love this hair but when I'm shaving it I like to shave it going straight down and then um, once it looks flat I comb it all either to the left or the right and then see like little puffs that I don't want there and then I go in and start doing it um, slanted you see what I'm saying right there this hair is gorgeous like you don't have to do much to it just shave it down and keep it moving but I see that it wasn't flat enough so now I'm playing with it just to see what areas I could have hit to make even appear flatter so that's pretty much it and they sell the uh, blades to this comb uh, a whole pack for like 10 of them in there is a dollar so um, don't throw the comb away because your blades get you know dull you can go rebuy them at the hair store for a dollar okay and I usually buy about two or three packs or whatever but now we're going to proceed to curl and just give her that style that she desired because she told me she wanted it like mine. So um, I'll post that video somewhere in here so you guys, I'm sure you've seen it, but if you haven't, go check it out. I will leave a link down below to this flat iron. Um, this is the, uh, I call it the pencil flat iron because it's the skinniest that I've seen, okay? They probably have skinnier, but 
Remember before I was using my curlers or whatever because I didn't have any, you know, little flat arms. But either way, they either one would work. But I did go out and purchase these on Amazon. So make sure you go down below and check out the link to my Amazon store, which most of these products are there. So um, I'm curling that hair and then I'm pinching it with that flat arm to give it a flat uh, appearance to look like a wave almost, you know. So, um, with the other curlers I used, I was just able to lay the flat arm over, over the top of the curl that I created, and it made it flat. But this one, I'm trying to pinch it, and it wasn't pinching for me, so I had to use the back of that comb and kind of lift it to help pinch it. But you pretty much know how this goes. I'm going to curl that whole head as tight as I can, and that way when you start going in, planning it, and... Um, you know spreading out your curls and stuff styling it you're not going to miss a curl or mess a curl up because they're so tight but they will loosen up for you but that's just depending on how you style it so like I said with her we didn't really style it much because I want her to be able to kind of uh, be able to play with it every different time she put it on she also does hair that was her uh, feel so she's like just, just make me the wig put it on do what you got to do I can do all the rest so I chose to put the curls and stuff for her, but she knows that, you know, when she's ready to wear it, what she would want to do with it. So, but that's the way to get a nice flawless type of um, pixie is to do them very tight. And then when it's all said and done, you can always play with it, loosen it. If something is too tight, you go back in with the flat iron and just kind of soften it up and all of that. But it will last really, really long if you had tight curls because tight curls don't go anywhere, okay?
and my honeys please excuse the background okay um i try to be having these videos professional but when we over here in chaos nation we don't let that bother us because when you leave here with that hair with your hair done you don't care about none of that you like oh bet you're slay to me so with that being said <laughs> We are off in the corner. The way I got my chair set up is in the corner. So, um, I had to like face her to the wall, basically. So, therefore, I could show you guys what's going on. Because if I'm off in that corner and doing it the other way, I cannot uh, see. So, you guys have to see this background versus the wall. I prefer the wall, but. <laughs> it didn't work out like that so i am trying to come up with a way to get one of those boards you know that you i could cover the background and all that and i know it's no big deal but i'm just throwing that out there because it's always somebody okay <laughs> that feels a way about something that someone else does and i don't know why it even matters but it does so i'm just taking into consideration and i'm speaking on it now i'm done with that or whatever there go my clipper and um I'm just getting those little flyaways, little loose hairs, and all the extras or whatever um, that I didn't want to go in and make any type of mistakes with the scissors. But it could be either or, okay? These are, uh, this. these clippers came with a set. It actually came with the clippers, and then these are liners. So I had got these from Walmart, y'all know that's my spot, years ago, okay? And then somebody stole my actual clippers. They are uh, wild. It was wild clippers and then the liners came with it and then all of the different um comb things that come with the clippers so somebody stole my clippers a long time ago i do have some more i have not yet put them to use because y'all know i have been cutting me in here recently too so i i caught myself invested in um some clippers and we didn't you need them in this video because they're not liners so I, these ones get me straight to the point since i know them i've been using them for years i'm really gonna have to go and play with my other clippers my new clippers so i can know how light to uh, put it on the head and all that because if you go in wrong it's like eh, i'm telling you when it's a wrap like you gotta miss a whole spot seeing nothing but track so i want to play with it first on my head before i go putting it off on anybody else's head and that's just that my honeys but we are just decorating and making sure everything is nice and complete and like i said she could have went home and did all of that but no when you leave my chair i like for it to be done and you don't have to really worry so she ain't got to do much when she do get home and you know put it back on or however she ain't got to do much but play with her curls and loosen them up that's it that'll be it okay <laughs> a beautiful lady and also she has such a beautiful spirit kj thought he was gonna try to get one off on her she said baby listen you gotta come with a few more generations to pull that off okay you ain't fooling nobody but yes she is like the best client ever okay i love her glasses all her glasses by the way is just slayed okay kind of like my son's grandmother they don't play they go get their prescription inside some nice frames honey they inspire me okay and i hope that i inspire you guys 
please make sure you subscribe and like and maybe even share this video okay this is just a remake at this point of the video <laughs> i will see my honeys on the next one uh, 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 the next one uh, uh, uh. bye guys love you guys Mwah.